Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will we'll discuss about a one more concept in a compiler design that is compiler construction tool. So compiler construction tool. So we know that a compiler is a translator which will translate from one language to the another language so that we have seen in the introduction part right so usually the high level language will be converted into machine level language so this high level language to the machine level language so it involves in a different phases right so around six phases we have seen so the program will be move towards six phases and finally we'll get the machine code so in order to construct this compiler this translator so there are different tools available so we'll see what are the different tools that are being used for constructing a compiler so the first one is a scanner tool Scanner tool. So first I list out all the tools and then we'll elaborate it, right? Scanner tool, parser tool, syntax, directed, translation, engine. The next one, data flow analysis engine, the code generator, code generator, and the last one is compiler construction. Toolkit. Toolkit. Right? So these are the different tools which are available in, during the construction of a compiler. In the construction of a compiler. So first coming to the scanner tool. So for this scanner tool, the input will be the program which we are giving is in a high level language that are, can also be given as a instructions a grammatical instructions is a input and the output so i'll write here for everything we'll write the input and output so that it will be good so input and output so for this scanner tool the input will be the program and the output will be the lexical analyzer that means it gives a tokens Okay, the complete program will be scanned for a different uh, tokens which are available. So we know that a token is an individual unit of a program. So it finds or it scan the complete program, complete instructions and it will return some tokens. So the example tool for this scanner is a Lex tool. So there is a tool called a Lex tool which will uh, scan the complete program and it will send or it will give the output as a tokens and coming to the parser tool the name itself indicates it will create a parse string it will generate a parse string so for this the input will be the tokens different tokens and all these tokens will be uh, analyzed whether they are syntactically correct or not and then they will be producing or generating the parse string parse string Right? So, the input for this parser tool will be the tokens and the output will be the parse tree. So, once the parse tree has been generated, the next one syntax directed translation engine. So, it will, it will be having a lot of functions which will walk through the about this parse tree and it will generate the intermediate code. So, whether that is correct, whether, whether they are syntactically and semantically correct, then automatically the intermediate code will be generated. So the input for the syntax directed translation engine 
is a parse tree. So the complete parse tree will be analyzed in every part. Okay, so it will be having a lot of functions, a lot of functions. So it will generate the intermediate code. It will generate the intermediate code. And the example for parser is act tool. So in our further sessions, we will be discussing about this tool. Okay, don't worry, just remember the tools. So this is a lex tool and a act tool. And here the parse tree will be the input for the syntax directed translation engine and the output will be the intermediate code. And now the next one is a data flow analysis engine which will take this intermediate code as an input. This intermediate code as an input and it will produce the optimized code. So it will uh, eliminate the unnecessary uh, instructions okay unnecessary instructions and it will make the code as a optimized that means the best code so the output will be the optimized so this data flow analysis engine will be acting as a very important thing in the code optimization optimized code so once the code has been optimized that means the best and that will be given to the code generator which will generate the machine code so the input for code generator is optimized code optimized code and the output will be the machine code machine code right so all these things we have seen in the phases different phases but here these are all the different tools which are available to generate the tokens, to generate the parse tree, to generate the intermediate code, to generate the optimizer code, and to generate the machine code. Right? So, and the last one is a compiler construction toolkit. So, here the name itself indicates it's a toolkit. It's a combination of these tools. Okay. So, it may be, it is an integration and a combination of all the above tools. So, it may be integrated with the one or two tools, or it may be integrated with the two or three tools. Or more than two tools right so this is a combination of compiler construction tools so if we combine uh, one or two tools then we can call it as a toolkit okay toolkit Right? So these are all the compiler construction tools. So scanner tool, parser, syntax directed uh, translation engine, as well as a data flow analysis engine, code generator and a compiler construction toolkit. So hope you understood about these uh, compiler construction tools and we'll stop here. If you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.